Starport now supports creating IBC connections and sending tokens between chains. Let's check it out. We opened up two development environments side by side. These environments run on two different servers and are not connected with each other. Both have Starport and the Relayer pre-installed by default. Let's scaffold and launch an IBC-compatible chain with Starport app using an SDK version flag with a value Stargate. While the first chain called Foo is building, we'll do the same on the other server. Let's call the chain bar. We now have two blockchains running side by side. They're not connected yet. In both terminal windows, we can see relayer info with a unique string. This string represents a relayer running alongside the chain. If we open up the source code of our chain, we will see a secret.yaml file, which contains information about the account used by our relayer. The other chain, of course, has its own secret.yaml. Now let's create a connection between these two chains. First, we copy the relayer info of the second chain and open up a new terminal window on the first chain. We then use starport chain add command to add a new relayer account. We can see that it is added to the secret.yaml. Starport has detected the change in config file and immediately restarted the chain. We now see that the connection between foo and bar chains has been established. Now that we have an IBC connection established, let's send tokens between two chains. We use the chain CLI to query the account's balance and use the relayer CLI to create an IBC transfer transaction and relay it. To check that the transaction has been relayed successfully, let's open a new terminal window on the second chain and check the account balance. And indeed, two tokens were transferred through IBC. We can create one more transaction and send it to check that everything's working properly. We can also add other tokens to our account. The chain automatically restarts, and once the connection is established, we can now send tokens to another chain. The process is the same. We create a transaction, relay, and check that tokens were received. We can also connect first chain to the second chain's relayer by copying relayer info and using starport chain add. What's interesting is that we can connect more than two chains together. Let's create a new empty development environment and repeat the process of scaffolding a chain. Once the new chain is launched, we copy the relayer info and use starport chain add command to add a new chain to our relayer. The chain foo is automatically restarted and establishes two connections to chain bar and chain hello. Now that we have set up the connections we need, we can go back to the source code, make changes and see the chain automatically restarts and connections re-established on every change.